Hello friends, welcome back to WAV IAS. Welcome to the discussion on the daily MCQ. Today is 13th of July 2021 and now we are going to discuss 5 current affair based MCQs. Now let's begin. First let us discuss the question that, that was asked yesterday. Yesterday's question was, the DB Genvok which was in use recently is related to what? See such questions will come directly in the exam so please focus on such things. Okay, DB Genvok. So this DB Genvok uh, about this, some of you have given the correct answer as well. And yesterday, if you see, it was Shubham Basak who gave the correct answer, right? Now let's discuss this. This DB Genvok, it was in use because it was a database. It is actually the world's first database of genomic variant of oral cancer. So that's why it is important. It is the world's first database of genomic variant of the oral cancer. Remember, it is related to database and it is related to the oral cancer. It was created by the DBT, National Institute of Biomedical Genomics, that means Department of Biotechnology, National Institute of Biomedical Genomics, Kalyani, which is an autonomous institute funded by the Department of Biotechnology, Government of India. Right? So, this is the information about DB Genvo we need to know. And guys, as you know already, daily we are uploading 5 current affair based MCQs and their solutions in a proper PDF format. You can download it from our Telegram channel and the Telegram channel details I have given in the description. Now let's begin. The first question, consider the following statements. First one, the speaker is the head of the supreme legislative body of the Republic of India that is parliament. Second one, he is the principal spokesperson of the house and his decisions in all the parliamentary matters is final. So here we have to choose the correct answer, A1 only, B2 only, C both 1 and 2 and D neither 1 nor 2. So if you see this, uh, if you see the both statements carefully, in the first statement especially, the speaker is head of the supreme legislative body, that means the parliament. But this is a wrong statement because the speaker is head of the Lok Sabha, the speaker is head of the Lok Sabha and the legislative assembly, but not the upper house. The upper house is headed by, for example, in Rajya Sabha, it is the chairman of Rajya Sabha, who is none other than the vice president of India. So that's why the first statement will become wrong. And the second statement, if you see, he is the principal spokesperson of the house and his decisions in all parliamentary matters is final. This is the right statement because he is the main person of the, or you can say he is the head of the Lok Sabha and he is the principal spokesperson of the house. So B, two only is the correct answer. So here I have given some more information about this, uh, sp about the office of speaker of Lok Sabha. So you can see, actually why this was the news is, recently it was noted that uh, the Maharashtra Legislative Assembly and even the, even, even the Lok Sabha also don't have deputy speaker and the Mahara Maharashtra Legislative Assembly don't have a speaker for most of 2021. So that's why this was the news. Article 93 for Lok Sabha and Article 178 for State Legislative Assemblies state that they shall have this, the houses or you can say the Legislative Assembly shall have the Speaker as soon as it was elected, Speaker and Deputy Speaker. So in Lok Sabha and State Legislatures, the President or the Governor sets a date for the election of Speaker. So this is the first job that it will be done after the vote of the candidates. After the candidates take the vote, the first uh, task or the first thing that the House will do is electing the Speaker. Right? And if you see the speaker, he is the head of the house and he vacates his office by resigning to deputy speaker or he, uh, or if he ceases, ceases to become a member of Lok Sabha or if it is, after, <coughs> sorry, or if he is removed by a resolution passed by majority of all the members of the Lok Sabha. So in any of these three conditions, the speaker can be removed from the office. So he will be elected by, a, by an election, which is just by simple majority, you can say, okay. So that's the information about speaker, right? So here I have given some more information about the speaker's office, extra information. You can just go through it. You can just go through it. Uh, and if you have any doubt, you can just ask us. Okay. So here you can see I've given also about the powers of the speaker and everything, right? Now let's move on to the second question. The second question is, Avsenia marina, sometimes seen in the news, is related to what? A. Mangrove species. B. Mosquito borne flavivirus. C. A robotic arm to fly International Space Station and D. Electric plane tested by NASA. Avicenia Marina. So here in this question, the correct answer is A. Mangrove species. So A. Mangrove species. This Avicenia Marina is the mangrove species. So recently the scientists at the DBT, the Department of Biotechnology Institute of Life Sciences and SRM Department of Biotechnology, they have partnered and they actually performed 
some experiments okay in the platform for advanced life sci- advanced life of uh, science and technologies and they have decoded the genome of salt secreting mangrove species avicennia marina so that's why this was news so this avicennia marina is the most prominent mangrove species found in all mangrove formations in india and this avicennia marina is a extraordinary species where it it actually tolerates salt to a great extent okay it is said that uh, the species grow optimally in 75% sea water and tolerates more than 250% of sea water so that's why this is important and it is important it is actually among the rare species which can excrete 40% of salt through the sweat glands to the salt sweat glands okay and it has also extraordinary feature in its capacity to exclude salt to enter to the roots so that's the extraordinary cap- capability and capacity of this species so avicenna marina is a mangrove which is found in india majorly right now let's move on to the next question the third question consider the following statements with respect to ramappa temple first one it is dedicated to lord krishna and it was built under the patronage of vijayanagar king krishna devaraya second statement it's probably the only temple in country to be known by the name of its sculptor so here we have to choose the correct answer so this ramappa temple if you see it was not built under uh, the king vijayanagar king krishna devaraya and also it is not dedicated to lord krishna this ramappa temple is located in varangal in telangana and it was built under the patronage of kakatiya dynasty and it was uh, actually a temple belonging to lord shiva so the first statement is wrong but the second statement is right because this is the only temple in india that is named after the sculptor so ramappa is the sculptor of this temple so b two only is the correct answer So if you see this uh, temple some more information so recently uh, the decision to examine this ramappa temple for the world heritage site inscription okay this has been deferred by the world heritage heritage committee so that's why this was in news so this temple actually falls under the kakatiya heritage trust which is actually pushing to include this temple into the world uh, into the world heritage tag from 2012 So this temple, if you see, it's dedicated to Lord Shiva, as I told already, and is situated in Varangal district of Telangana. This temple is also known as Ramalingeshwara Temple. So Ramalingeshwara means Lord Shiva. It was built under the supervision of Chief Commander Rachel Rachel Rudra Rachel Rachel Rudra during the reign of Ganapati Deva from Kakatiya Dynasty in 1213 AD. So Kakatiya Dynasty was a South Indian dynasty which ruled most parts of Andhra Pradesh. and some parts of maharashtra and karnataka as well right and the temple is named after its sculptor ramappa theek okay? hai now let's move on to the next question the fourth question the national dolphin research center is set to be established in which of the following states a maharashtra b gujarat c bihar and d sorry a maharashtra b kerala c bihar and d gujarat okay so here we have to choose the correct answer and the correct answer is c bihar So this National Dolphin Research Center is going to be set up. It is going to be set up in Patna, and Patna is in Bihar. Okay. So this National Dolphin Research Center is mainly for the conservation of the gangster dolphin. It is for the conservation of gangster dolphin, and it will be set up in Patna, right? So this will. So for this, uh, the NDRC, which is the National Dolphin Research Center, so for this NDRC, a four thousand four hundred square uh, square meter plot. on the premises of patna university near the banks of river ganga has been selected and the bihar urban development department has already cleared construction of this ndrc's building at a distance of 200 meters from ganga river also the bihar forest and Envir- forest uh, department it has sought for the approval of this construction within 200 meters be- be- of the ganga because normally uh, there are few restrictions uh, because of the wetland rules right the constructions are not that permitted uh, within about 200 meters from the river on the river bed theek okay? hai now let's move on to the next question the fifth question which of the following modifications occur in the desert areas to inhibit water loss that means to reduce water loss this is a previous year csc question from 2013 first statement hard and waxy leaves second statement tiny leaves or no leaves third statement thorns instead of leaves so we have to choose the correct answer so for this that means uh, the leaf modification in desert areas if you see the hard and waxy leaves is the is right because if the leaves are hard and waxy the water evaporation will be limited and also if the leaves are tiny and there are no leaves even this also will help in reduced water evaporation and next one thorns thorns or uh, thorns instead of leaves also works on works on the same principle and if you see cactus have thorns instead of leaves so here uh, d 
1, 2 and 3 is the correct answer for this question. Right? So here uh, I have given some more extra information. Just pause and go through this. Uh, so if you have any doubt, you can just ask in the comment box. Now let's look at the question of the day. The question of the day is, who is the head of newly formed Ministry of Cooperation? So you have to tell about the new head of the Ministry of Cooperation, which minister. Right? Tomorrow we are going to discuss this question. Okay? And guys, uh, these are our initiatives. Okay, we have launched Vision PT365 Summary, Vision Plims Test Series Summary, Vision Mains Test Series Summary and Vision Monthly Magazine as well. These summaries. So these summaries will help in your preparation uh, by boosting your, boosting your revision in fact. Because if you have limited pages and if you have less pages, you can revise a document multiple times. So do make the best use of this initiative uh, and uh, all the details you can find in the Telegram channel and the Telegram channel details are there in the description. Okay? So that's it guys for this lecture. I'll see you again tomorrow with 5 more MCQs. Till then keep studying and stay tuned. Jai Hind.